All right, today if you ask me what my favorite cocktail was, I would say the Jungle Bird. Now that might be because I'm really into funky rums like this Jamaican pot still, or my sweet tooth with the pineapple, or because of this hint of bitterness from the Campari that's just excellent. So here I'm gonna make both the classic Jungle Bird as well as a clarified milk punch version of it that I'm super excited for. All right, let's start with the classic Jungle Bird and our pineapple juice. Ideally, we'd be using fresh pressed pineapple juice, but this brand is actually really tasty. Start with one and a half ounces or 45 mils, then some fresh lime juice, one half ounce or 15 mils. Balance that out with some simple syrup, another one half ounce or 15 mils. Next, we need our rum. I highly recommend some kind of dark, funky rum with character to stand up against all the other flavors here. So I go with this Jamaican pot still black, but sometimes I throw a blend in here. We're going with one and a half ounces or 45 mils. And finally, our bittersweet liqueur, Campari. Now, it's really uncommon to find Campari in tiki drinks, but my God, it works so well. Three-fourths of an ounce or 22 mils. Now, we're going to shake that with ice for about 15 seconds to chill, dilute, and get some aeration in there. Long-time watchers of this channel know that I'm not super keen on cocktail history. Rumor has it this one was created in the 70s at the Kuala Lumpur Hilton in Malaysia. Who knows if that's true? The country of Malaysia would certainly like you to think it's true. But regardless, we're gonna double strain this into a chilled rocks glass with ice. Once that settles, you should see a nice foam on top from the pineapple juice and let's give it a taste. I mean, for me, this drink is just perfect. Like I said before, I love that rum funk, it goes so well with pineapple and that Campari is just such an interesting twist to it. Most people think of Campari in Negronis, but it works so well in a properly balanced sour cocktail. I love this. Is it possible to improve on this? Well, let's give it a crack with one of my favorite techniques, a clarified milk punch. I'm not gonna go too deep into the science behind a clarified milk punch, because I've done that in a bunch of different videos. Um, but if you're interested, I'll put a link right here where I talk through how it works. But in short, curdling milk with a cocktail and then filtering out those curds will clarify the cocktail and remove a lot of the astringent flavors. And it's usually quite a wonderful drink. So we're just gonna quadruple this recipe into a pitcher, starting with two ounces of strained lime juice. Then another two ounces of simple syrup. Check my math here, but next it's six ounces or 180 mils of pineapple juice. And then three ounces or 90 mils of Campari. For the rum, we're gonna mix it up here and do a split base. I'm gonna start with one of my favorites, a Smith & Cross Jamaican rum, it's a little high proof, three ounces or 90 mils. And split that with another three ounces or 90 mils of plantation dark rum. All right, into a bowl, we're gonna add 4.75 ounces or about 140 mils of whole milk because you also wanna use a four to one ratio of punch to milk. Then we're gonna slowly pour the Jungle Bird punch into that bowl of milk, never the other way around, like the milk into the punch. Cut to our curdle cam here, and you can see that the milk has curdled nicely. Looks pretty gross, but sure enough, we're gonna filter all that out pretty quickly. Pour everything back into your pitcher, then prepare a coffee filter or a cheesecloth. I like to use a wet coffee filter into a pour over cone like this. Then we're gonna slowly pour it through the coffee filter and start to let the clarified milk punch drip through. Now this process can take up to three or four hours. But once you're done, bottle it in a vessel. It should yield about 19 ounces or a little over half a liter. And you can store this in the fridge pretty much indefinitely. Now the only way to serve a clarified milk punch is with some clear ice. So I've got a nice clear ice ball here. And then we're just gonna pour about four or five ounces over the top. And just look how pretty that is. The ice ball almost disappears into the cocktail. But how does the clarified Jungle Bird stack up against the original? Let's give it a taste. Oh my God. Okay, folks, shut it down. We've peaked. Shut the whole operation down. Okay, maybe we can turn it back on for some tasting notes here really quick, but um, my God, this is delicious. It's everything I like about the Jungle Bird, but just kind of smoothed out. The whey protein that remains has a really nice mouthfeel. It feels very rich just lingers on the tongue a little bit longer and it goes down super smooth. Comparing it again directly to the classic, you probably get a little bit more of the rum funk in the classic Jungle Bird. Some of those flavors do get stripped away, but it's still there and it's excellent. But what other classic versus chemist cocktails do you wanna see? Let me know in the comments.